Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Although educational, this video contains some blood, so viewer discretion is advised. We're going to look at five main reasons why you shouldn't pop whiteheads. We're going to do it under a microscope. Our friend Erica was nice enough to donate this whitehead to science and pop it, even though you shouldn't. Here's the result of the first attempt. And reason number one, which is inflammation. It can cause pain and swelling and also damage. In this case, the fingernail punctured the skin in the wrong spot and caused bleeding. Which brings us to reason number two, scabs. Chances are if you're popping a whitehead, you're doing it to get rid of it. But scabs are even more noticeable and take longer to heal. They heal better when you leave them alone, but if you absolutely must get rid of a whitehead, either see a professional or use the right equipment because it can lead to reason number three, scars. This one was on her torso, but you wouldn't want it to cause this kind of damage on your face. After the third attempt, it brings us to reason number four, discoloration. After all the poking around and inflammation, you can get what's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's like a temporary tattoo that lasts about two years. And the final reason, infection. When you pop a pimple, it tears the skin, leaving it open to bacteria. And you can see from this microscope footage how easily something can hide on your skin. So there you have it. What do you think is the most important reason not to pop pimples? And do you pop them anyway? Comment below. Also, tell us if you like the microscope footage, and maybe we'll do some more. I mentioned earlier about tools for taking care of whiteheads. Although not specifically for acne, a manicure set has all kinds of tools for things related to skin and nails. And it's definitely worth having one. So check out the description if you want to get one for yourself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.